Oh, that's so much better. That's a better angle. <laughs> This is Emma's Place UK and my name is Emma and welcome and today is just a very quick, very short Primark haul um, and a few things that I got from Boots as well. I went to Primark today at 9 o'clock this morning which is the best time to go to Primark on a Saturday. I managed to get myself up and ready and out of the house for 9 o'clock. It's a miracle. I bought quite a few things. I have this bag but I also have that bag as well. I went twice. I have a problem. We'll start with the big bag first. I'll save the little one for last. Uh, first up, some wrapping paper. I really like Primark's wrapping paper, and this is just some Central Perk wrapping paper, £1.50 for five metres. They also had some sloth wrapping paper as well, and I wanted it, but I'd already paid, and I just thought I'm not queuing again, so I'll pick some of that up next time. Uh, staples for every woman is the cotton wool pads, they're 50p, cheap as chips. I also picked up some of their Bare Face Beauty wipes, these are great just to keep by my bed to take my makeup off at the end of the day uh, and these are Argan Oil Facial Cleansing Wipes, all oh, for dry skin, so we'll see, we'll see what they're like. Uh, what are they? I think they're a pound for two packs. I picked up some trainers. So um, if you know my channel, you'll know that I do a weekly weight loss journal and I do a lot of walking at the moment. I'm doing sort of eight miles a week. So these are going to be my walking trainers for, to keep at home. Uh, so these will just be for um, pavement walking and then I will have my heavy duty walking shoes that I use left at the office because that's where I walk through all the woodland and everything so we'll keep them there and we'll just keep these for at home I thought they were really pretty and a really pretty little sort of colour as well these were £10 another pair of shoes I picked up these sort of little ballerina pumps in a nude colour with a little bit of gold detailing on the front, a little bow there. Uh, these were £6 and I bought these to go with one of my dresses that I've got for um, Luke's cousin's wedding that we're going to in October. So the aim is to uh, wear these with an ice blue tea dress undies because you always need new undies. And... I just, these are the best things ever. I bought some of the Harry Potter pumps. These were uh, eight pounds, I think, yeah, eight pounds. But look at those in a navy blue with all of this gold detailing here. I just, they were the last pair of size sixes and oh, they have a mark on them, but I don't care. I don't care, I bought them anyway because they're just so pretty. Look at them. I can't wait to wear them. I cannot wait to wear them. They had some red ones as well, but I wasn't as keen. They had massive, massive laces about that thick and it's a Gryffindor and I'm not a Gryffindor. I am a Hufflepuff. So I will have these very gladly. I just love them. And you've got the Harry Potter on the back of the heel there as well. I almost don't want to wear them. I kind of just want to put them on a shelf and look at them. They're so pretty. And I also, from Primark, picked up this t-shirt. Now this is a man's medium. That was in the men's section. Uh, light blue, big pink flamingos. I have no idea if it fits. It was just a kind of one of those pick it up on the way to the till kind of things. Um, it was five pounds. It was five pounds. So a little bit more expensive than what I would normally spend on a t-shirt from Primark. But look, it's so pretty. It's blue with, with flamingos on it. It's so pretty. It is a man's, so I'm hoping that it, I mean, it should fit me okay over the shoulders and the sleeves. And it's just a little bit longer in the body than the women's shirts. So I'm hoping that it will fit me. The men's t-shirts are so much better than the women's and it's better quality as well. It's a loads thicker. It's not see-through. And it's long enough for me. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to, whenever I go looking for t-shirts, I'm going to go looking at the men's section first. And last but not least from Primark. 
for these. So these are battery operated LED candles and seriously I've bought like loads of them. <laughs> loads and loads of them. I bought 10 packets altogether. You may be thinking to yourself, Emma, why have you bought that many battery operated tea lights? I'll tell you. Uh, these are to go on our tables at the wedding. We have a lot of paper decorations, paper flowers and lots of small children. So we thought it would be wise not to have open flame tea lights on the tables like you normally would, like little tea candles, tea light candles. Uh, so we've gone for these instead. And I was going to buy them on eBay because you can get about 30, 40 of them on eBay for about £12. So I was just going to do that. But I was a little bit dubious about it because you don't know the quality or anything like that. And then, and this is why you've got to hunt Primark top to bottom whenever you go. These were by the Tills upstairs on my second visit and I saw them. Whereas the first time I went, I paid for my items downstairs and they didn't have them at the Tills downstairs. So it was very lucky actually that I just happened to go back for a second visit because the other shops I went in didn't have what I wanted. So um, I, I just found these by accident, by complete accident. They're perfect and they're exactly what we want. And they are £1.50 for a pack of six. So we have bought 10 packets. So £15 has bought us 60 of these little battery operated tea lights. Let's test it out. Uh, no, it, you can't really see it on camera, but that's really cute. Let me see if I can shut the curtain, make it look a little bit better. We're a bit darker now, a bit darker. Hey, see? Full pack to go on each table. Uh, so there'll be six of these all sat together uh, to light up a table once the lights go out and we have our sort of disco. Um, but yeah, they're perfect. Yeah, battery operated tea lights. Much less of a fire hazard. Uh, that was the last thing that I got from Primark and then I just picked up a few bits and pieces from Boots. I'm in desperate need of things like cleansers, toners, moisturisers and eye makeup remover. I've used it all. So um, I'm going to try out, this is a new range from Boots. So I think it's like a step up from their cheaper range to their not quite so cheap range, I guess. So I picked up a cleansing lotion and uh, is it micellar water? My my cellar water, I think it is. And some, oh no. Oh, I've picked up night cream and that was meant to be moisturizer with an SPF. I put it down and then picked up again and I've picked the wrong thing up. Oh no. Oh well. I've got some night cream. I just need to go and get some normal moisturizer then. Oh, silly. Well, I didn't pay for this to be fair. I used my Boots Advantage points, so I didn't pay for it. So I guess I'm using a night cream now. I'm just really annoyed with myself because I had picked up the day cream with SPF 15. Then I put it down and then I picked this up again thinking it was the same thing and it's not. It's a different thing. Oh, I'm going to have to go back now and pick up the day cream. These were all £2.50 each. They didn't have, as, as part of the, this range, they didn't have any eye makeup remover so I just picked up some Nivea Extra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover because I don't like it when the eye makeup remover stings. I'm not keen on that. I don't know why anybody would like it, but I don't like it. So I've got some Nivea and that was £3 something. I don't really know. So that's what I'm going to start using. Give them a go. See how I get on with them. I don't mind. I like Boots own brands. I think they're, they're just as effective as, as other things. So yeah, that was my Boots slash Primark haul. Very, very short little bit of a bonus video. Uh, take care everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what has been your best buy from Primark recently because you know we all know we all love Primark. Come and join me on social media. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Emma's Place UK. See you next time. Bye.